kids welcome to another story with the storyteller today I have a new coat of leaves shall we begin this is a book about accepting the way we look now let's see how the story goes This story begins far, far away in a very magical place at the side of a lake on the edge of a quiet green forest there stands a beautiful cedar tree. But the tree doesn't think it is beautiful. In fact, it is very unhappy with the way that it looks. The other trees all have beautiful leaves but mine are small and pointed says the tree sadly people prick their fingers on them and then they don't want to come near me how i wish i could get rid of these sharp needles and have some smooth gold leaves it wishes out loud then everyone would like me When the cedar, little cedar tree wakes up the next morning, it has a big surprise. Its wish has come true. It now wears a coat of beautiful golden leaves. How wonderful, thinks the tree. Now everyone will admire my new coat of leaves. It feels very proud of its glittering golden leaves. <laughs> That's good. When the local woodcutters see the tree, they can't believe their eyes. They have never seen a tree with gold leaves before. The woodcutters all want to take some of the precious golden leaves home. One by one, they pick the leaves until the tree is left completely bare. Oh, my leaves, cries the tree, full of disappointment. Perhaps I should have wished for glass leaves instead. Then people would not want to take them away. The following morning, the tree has another surprise. Its branches are now covered with delicate glass leaves. Wow, thinks the tree. My wish has come true again. It is delighted with a shiny glass coat. But the animals grazing nearby don't even notice the change. The animals don't know the difference. They can't see the glass leaves. Later that day, the weather changes suddenly and there is a bad storm. It rains heavily and strong winds howl through the forest. The villagers are in such a hurry to get home that they don't even notice the little cedar tree. One by one, the delicate glass leaves are blown off by the wind and break on the ground. Soon not a single leaf is left on the tree. Oh no, wails the tree. This was a terrible mistake. How I wish I had green leaves just like all the other trees around me. Next morning the cedar tree wakes to find it has a new coat of tender green leaves. Oh, how wonderful! It says happily, a beautiful coat of green leaves, just as I want it. It is sure that nothing can go wrong with these fine leaves as they move gently in the breeze. Soon the tree does begin to attract some attention. A herd of goats grazing nearby see the tree 
with its tender green leaves, the goats begin to munch eagerly on the tasty leaves until not a single leaf is left. The cedar tree is bare once more. That night the tree is miserable again. Another disaster, it says sadly. Maybe I should wish for something really different. Something to keep me warm. Like a coat of feathers, maybe. The following morning, the tree finds that its wish has come true once more. It is covered with pretty white feathers. The tree sighs happily to itself. Mm. And then it sees a huge flock of birds flying towards it. The birds want the feathers to line their nests. They each take a feather in their beak and fly away, leaving the tree bare once more. The surrounding trees seem to be laughing, but the little cedar tree won't give up. Well, let me see, it thinks. This time I shall wish for something that no one can take away. I wish for a coat of snow. In the morning, the cedar tree is pleased to find that its wish has come true once again. As if by magic, snow is falling over the cedar tree alone and soon covers it in a coat of fresh white snow. Oh, this is wonderful, it says. I look gorgeous in my new white coat. This time it is sure to last. That's what the cedar tree thinks. But later that morning, the sun rises high in the sky and the snow begins to melt. The local people are amazed to see the little tree covered in melting snow. It's magic, they tell themselves. It sure is. The little cedar tree drips buckets of tears. I don't want to change anymore, it says. I feel so cold, standing here, naked again. I wish I had my own sharp needles back. At least they keep me warm. That's true. Since nobody wanted them. The next morning, the tree is relieved to find that its wish has come true again. And it is covered with its very own needle-like leaves. Nearby, the other trees let out a sigh of relief. Oh, our leaves are beautiful in the summer, but we lose them every winter and have only bare branches, they whisper. You are lucky because your leaves stay green all year round. Be happy with your own leaves. That winter, it snows heavily. Everything in the quiet forest is covered with a coat of thick white snow. The cedar tree stands out from the other trees. Its branches are green. Needles make a good place for the birds and animals of the forest to shelter. The tree feels contented at last. I'm happy to be a cedar tree, it says, and I wish to stay just as I am. I will take good care of my needle leaves and be beautiful in my own natural way. That's, that's a beautiful story. It tells us to be happy with who and how we are and to love ourselves just the same. That's all for today and I hope and wish to see you in the next story. It's bye from me for now. Bye bye children. Bye.
I'll see you again. Mm-hmm.